Welcome back to Every the Carl. I'm Carl. This is another workshop video, and I'm making a kayak rack. I thought I'd give you a little sneak peek just so that you can see if this is what you're looking for. If it's not, you can click off and go to a different tutorial. This is a freestanding eight kayak rack based off of an A-frame. It uses through bolts, some screws, and a bunch of pressure treated lumber. And it costs $128, lumber and hardware included. Here's what I'm working with in terms of hardware. I got 18 four and a half inch, 5 16 hex bolts. I have nuts, washers, and I'm using three inch exterior Phillips screws. For lumber, I have 15 pieces of pressure treated two by fours, eight feet long. You saw the thumbnail, so that's what the rack is gonna look like. I have a few goals for this rack. I currently have six kayaks and I wanna get them off the ground. I'm gonna make this rack so that it can hold eight kayaks and it's gonna be freestanding so I can move it around if necessary. So I started by measuring one of my kayaks. I know I need at least 18 inches of clearance to have enough space to slide each kayak into its slot. I also need the, the width of the rack to be six feet so that I can get an arm on this side of the kayak and one on the front. The other limitation is I wanna make sure that this rack is just small enough so that I can actually fit it out of my garage after it's done. I've taken my first two by four here and found the middle. I know this is gonna be an A-frame since my kayaks are 30 inches wide, meaning I need 30 inch arms to hold each one. So with that in mind, I've decided I can cut off approximately three inches from each end. I'm talking too much. I'll just make the cut and it'll make sense in a minute. So this first leg is coming out to 89 inches long. I'm gonna duplicate that and then move on. All right, now that I have my two base pieces, I'm gonna create the first A-frame. It's gonna be two 83 inch two by fours that come to a point at the top. They're gonna to overlap and I'm gonna put a bolt right through them. I'm gonna put a bolt right through the bottom of them as well. All right, now I need to replicate these for the opposite end of the rack. All right, hopefully this gives you an idea of how these are gonna stand. They're gonna hex bolt right through the bottom and one right through the top. All right, the first A-frame is all bolted in. It's very simple, using the power of triangles. Got it bolted together at the top, down at the bottom. I had to countersink this bolt. I would have preferred to get a five inch bolt, but I forgot to pick those up, so only a four inch. But in any case, countersunk it. I have one spacer here to offset the fact that these two beams are bolted one on top of the other, so. I had to put that spacer in there. That's gonna come in handy in a little bit. I'll show you why. Because as the arms get attached, one's gonna bolt here and it's gonna be braced on the other side as it hits this, this leg of the A-frame. Here I'm putting the second A-frame together for the other end of the rack. It's an exact replica of the first. All right, here's my two end pieces. Now I'm gonna cut three cross members, two that are gonna go on the bottom and one on the top. I'm gonna make those six feet long and screw them in. I leaned one end of the frame up against the wall and then clamped the first piece of wood to the top of the A-frame, screwed in the other side with three screws, and then at the base I measured to make sure it was exactly six feet 
and then again used three screws on each side for both of the bottom braces. This is where I'm at so far. Got the frame freestanding. I'm gonna put some uh, angle braces here just to get rid of this lateral movement back and forth and then just slap the arms on there. First thing I did was make sure each side of the frame was level, then I cut approximately two foot angle braces. One side has a slight angle cut into it so that it sits flush up against the A-frame. The other side overlaps the top beam with three screws. All right, I took out a lot of the lateral movement with these cross beams, and uh, I'm gonna cut up the arms now, put those on, and then I'll put a couple more angles down at the bottom to finish it up. If you notice, I decided on a pretty slight angle for each one of my arms. I wanted my kayaks to slide in towards the A-frame, if anything. On the load-bearing side of the arm, I through-bolted the arm through the A-frame, and the opposite side had that very slight angle cut into it. It sat flush up against the opposite side of the A-frame, and I screwed it in with two screws. All right, I'm pretty happy with this so far, but I am tired, and I'm gonna leave the rest of this for tomorrow morning. I just need to do the top arms, do a little more cross-bracing, and then it'll be done. All right, so the next day, I'm gonna finish this up. I followed the exact same process for the top two arms on each side of the rack, through bolting into the A-frame and then screwing the end into the opposite side of the A-frame. These are nice and strong and perfectly enough to hold my kayaks. The bottom two arms are much stronger. They could hold my weight all the way out to the end of the arm and I weigh 200 pounds. All right, it is done. Completely finished here. Got all my arms on. This is gonna hold eight kayaks. One, two, three, four, and four on the other side. Last couple things I did was put this cross bracing on, on the bottom, and I put a couple little blocks up here that gives these upper arms a little bit more lateral stability. I didn't realize I would need that, but anyway, it helps. All right, I'm gonna move this outside and put the kayaks on. I also added these little pieces to the bottom to give that bottom rung a bit of an angle too. Okay, this is the moment of truth. Let's see if I actually measured this properly. Otherwise, it's not gonna fit out of the garage. It works. Here it is, finished product. Got room for two more down on the bottom there. I'm happy with this build. It's very sturdy. It's all pressure treated. It's gonna last for a long time. All right, that's gonna do it for this build. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Every Other Crawl, and I'll see you in the next one.